I was gonna keep that going for a lot longer, but I decided not to. Uh, I'm wearing a very special jacket right now. This old school jacket is over 30 years old and it belongs to my dad. I'm such a pack rat. I'm so thankful that I have a few pieces of clothes for my dad and I love to wear them. I want to pass those on to my kids and you know, I wish I had clothes from my grandparents or my great grandparents, but you know, not everybody's like me. Uh, I am super excited. I need to, to start using other words besides excited, but whatevs. I'm genuinely excited to do a music reaction video. It's been over a week since I've made one. There weren't any new songs released last Friday because it was Thanksgiving break. Uh, so I am doing this one. And you may be asking yourself, who is Elijah Daniel, AKA Lil Fag? Well, he is who teenagers these days are paying attention to. In addition to those obnoxious Paul brothers, Jake and Logan Paul. Elijah has a YouTube channel with Christine Sudeko. Sudenko, 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 Sudenko. Uh, Elijah and Christine, they were recently on The Maury Show. Christine was on, in Katy Perry's music video. So the kids are all about him, as they are, and then kids move on and yada, yada, yada. But right now, he's really hot with a certain demo. And it seems like anybody can be a rapper these days. <laughs> From Cash Me Outside Girl to Elijah Daniel, who has rebranded himself as Lil Fag. And I hate the name. And I think he'll change it eventually. There's no way. I mean, he's clearly doing it for shits and giggles. But you never know. Like, something that you might not take seriously could end up working and being very successful. But there's no way that an artist named Lil Fag is going to get played on the radio or is going to get support from the mainstream. Like, you're just limiting yourself by that name. Not to mention the fact that it's just an awful name. <sighs> Anyways, his debut single is called Faggot, spelled with a P-H. I even hate saying that word. I don't even say it. I say the F word. Anyways... Let's just do this. Lil Fag, Elijah Daniel. Uh, oh, God. This is featuring Hoodie Allen? What? And Dr. Woke. I'm a Hoodie Allen fan. I'm, I'm a little disappointed that Hoodie Allen is on this song. But whatever. Let's just take a listen to it. Okay. Childlike beginning. <laughs> uh, these are very gay lyrics. Nothing wrong with that. Call me. I'm a dick addict. <laughs> I mean, I'm a dick addict. <laughs> Why am I listening to this? I mean, this is better than that Tana Manjo song, or however the hell you pronounce her name. Hefner. That was awful. This is kind of fun. This is kind of fun, but I don't like the F word. He could have just changed it to flamer. Call me a flamer. I'm a dick addict. That would have been way better. And this is hella short. Oh my God. His debut single is a minute and 20 seconds. Okay then. Uh, I don't need to listen to it again. That would have been so fun if he would have changed the F word to flamer. Call me an F flamer. I'm a dick addict. I could have, I could have worn that t-shirt. I'm a dick addict. Um, 
Yeah, and it would have been more fun if he also took it seriously. Like, a minute and 20 seconds isn't a song. It's an idea. It's it's a prequel to a song. Like, the shortest song needs to be, like, two minutes long. A minute and 20 seconds, you're just lazy. You're, um, incomplete. And that's that. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I'm back doing these. I love doing these. And there is a lot of good new music, or hopefully good, a lot of new music to look forward to this coming Thursday and Friday, including a release from Louis Tomlinson. I will be doing a reaction video to that. So if you enjoyed this video, I make videos like this on the regular. Hit the like button, hit the share button, leave me a comment, and if you're not following me yet, follow me. Mwah.